Because I know you're looking at Europe, you're looking at Japan. Um, two different people are asking in two different versions, both Mark and Ralph. Any chance other central banks go before or instead of the Fed? And importantly, does it matter? Another great question. Yeah. The, the, um, well, it matters. You, you know, the beautiful thing about uh, about trading markets is you can you know you can bet on the other markets and uh, and the money doesn't care whether you're betting on the ECB or the Fed. Um, so that's always something to to keep in mind when you're thinking about how do you build diversification. Um, you know, when I look at, I, I think probably the place that looks most interesting to me is um, is what's going on with the ECB. You know, who has talked very hawkish, but under the hood, what you see is um, there's a pretty big difference in terms of the inflationary picture in the U.S. and in Europe. And I think um, uh, it was overshadowed by the Fed situation last week. You know, the ECB, uh, the the quarterly wage numbers came out, came out about 3.1, down considerably from where it had been running, 5 to 6%. And if you um, watch the Lagarde press conferences, which, you know, I recommend at triple speed. Um, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, if you're gonna waste your time with that, every Fed conference, Fed, <laughs> the way every to go. central banker. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Exactly. Speed that stuff up. Um, <laughs> it was kind of the primary sticking point. If you go back to the last couple of meetings, where they were like, "We're not so sure. Wages are a bit of a concern. We want to see them come down. And in order for us to feel comfortable, we need to see them come down. Three percent is a bit." A bit higher than what it was, you know, prior to COVID, but it's not three percent is fine. They can deal with three percent wage growth in the economy, and that's going to, you know, combined with the fact that we're likely to, you know, get soft enough readings on inflation. That my guess is the ECB is going to be um, faster moving than what we see uh, with the Fed um, in terms of, you know, responding to the to the real economy dynamics the growth is also a little softer there yeah. um and things like you know other elements like that that are not literally in their mandate but certainly influence what they're thinking 